So we're going to find the integral, indefinite integral of this problem, this statement. So first thing I'm going to do though is multiply out the numerator so I get uh, z to the fourth plus z squared plus z squared. And then I get plus one all over the square root of z or z raised to the one half. The reason I did this is because it'll be easier to uh, just to see what to do. So z to the fourth plus two, z to the second plus one all over z to the one half. So I'm gonna divide through by z to the one half. So I'll be taking the integral of z and then this ends up being four, so I turn it to eight, so it ends up being seven over two, I think. Um, yeah, seven over two plus two z raised to the three halves plus z raised to the negative one half. All right, so dz this whole th um, integrate this whole thing. So what I end up with is z raised to the seven halves plus one over seven halves plus one plus two and then z raised to the three halves plus one over three halves plus one plus z raised to the negative one half plus one over negative one half plus one. And integrating everything, so this becomes so that's seven over two, two over two, so it becomes nine over two. And you flip it, so I get two ninths. So let me just rewrite this. So the whole thing integrated, <clears throat> capital F of X, usually means the integral. It's gonna be equal to two ninths X, not X, why do I keep doing that? Z raised to the nine halves plus, four halves, z um, raised to the five halves, plus two z raised to the one half, plus z. And that's it. All right, I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.